Hello everyone, hope you're doing super awesome. Thank you so much for tuning into one more session. And today we are going to cover website backups, website migrations, and website restore. So the best practices to take a backup of your website, the best practices to restore or migrate your website to different hosting accounts or to different servers. So everything related to backup and migration we are going to cover today. Now in this series of uh, videos, if you are following this lecture series on WordPress web design, you uh, will be aware that we have already covered technical stack, we have covered marketing stack, we have covered the content stack and we have also covered the design stack. Now we have divided our overall web design project into these four core areas and based on that we have step by step covered the different aspects of a WordPress web design. So we have uh, looked into the overall website from these five core uh, core areas of performance from scalability point, point of view, from, uh, from the flexibility of the user's point of view, from the security of point of view and from the optimization for search engine's point of view and the marketing point of view and the overall cost of ownership for the business. Now in this session let us get uh, straight away jump into the backup and migration so uh, just to take you to the uh, to the plugins uh, directory of WordPress now we are using WordPress for this series of videos in WordPress as soon as you complete your website you shall definitely take a backup of this particular website now why this backup is important at any point of time your site might get attacked by virus files might get attacked by hackers or might have some errors on on your code lines or on your server end there can be some errors there, even if there is a incompatibility issue between the plugins and the themes uh, the site gets down so in all of those irreversible uh, stages of your website you might have to revert back uh, and use this backup file to restore your website so that's where the backup becomes one of the most important part of your overall website project so that's where we are going to cover how to take a backup the right way of your wordpress website so uh, to start with there are two core ways to take a backup of your wordpress website one is using a plugin now this is the easiest uh, possible process to take a backup of your website you can simply install a plugin and take a backup of it that's it and the other process is to take a backup from your control panel so you know if you get into your control panel if you log into your hosting account your control panel and then if you simply search for backup you will get an option uh, known as backup wizard now in this particular uh, console in this particular menu button if you click you will be able to take a backup of your overall website so you can take a backup of your website you can take a backup of your databases you can take a backup of your emailers and uh, if you want to restore it uh, to any other server you have to simply log into that hosting account get into the backup uh, get into the cpanel and the backup wizard and then simply restore it when you click on restore you get an option to upload the files that you have taken a backup of so in this way you can restore the files or migrate the backup files to another hosting account so this is one of, one of the one of the processes now uh, let me quickly take you through both of these process step by step and also this whole process i'll i'll talk about how to migrate large sized websites like e-commerce websites with a huge uh, listing of products with a huge multimedia files uh, volume and all of that so how do we back up a large site how do we back up a smaller websites now since I've discussed already discussed that there are two ways, one is plugin based and one is control panel based. Let us uh, go step by step. Now let us cover the plugin based first because this is the easier one and most of you will be referring to use this process. So let us first cover that. Now in the plugins directory, if you get into plugins and then add new plugin and then just simply search for backup, you will be able to see all the backup plugins that WordPress directory provides you. Now ideally, uh, Updraft plus WordPress backup plugin, this one and the other plugin is all in on WP migration. These two are the market leaders having three plus million active installations for both of them. So these are the market leaders we have already covered in detail about Updraft and uh, WP migration in the previous uh, few sessions. But today we are going to execute it. Today we are going to use it for our backup. So in case of Updraft, uh, the uh, the reason it's a market leader is because it allows you to take a backup directly to a online space directly to uh, a server of any of these portals like dropbox google drive f2p accounts your emailers you can directly take a backup and save it in your dropbox or google drive you can automate the backup process you can just set it up in such a way that uh, every two weeks or let's say every week or every night uh, there is a backup automated backup and this backup is getting saved in your google drive or dropbox or any other platform that you prefer any other online space that you prefer so this is the only usp of updraft it allows you to take an automated backup 
and there is all in one wp migration now all in one wp migration is uh, uh, is uh, popular because of its flexibility because of its ease of usage it's super easy to use and it's uh, super uh, reliable so whenever you're taking a backup the files are correctly backed up and and the chances of getting corrupted files are very very less so this is one of the most reliable and dependable plugins so in the last uh, few sessions we might have seen this but again i'm going to quickly take you through these two plugins you can use whichever plugin you like so in case of updraft plus in updraft uh, updraft plus whenever you install this plugin you need to get into your plugins again and here you will be able to see the updraft plus uh, plugin over here you need to click on settings and then you can take a backup of the files now either you can choose to take a backup so if you just simply click on this backup now it will get backed up and either you can uh, choose to back this up in any of these online directories or you can choose to download this backup and keep it in your local system now the reason I use Updraft is because it allows me to save my backup in my Google Drive which is which I usually prefer to use and it also allows me allows me to take a backup uh, uh, automatically I don't have to uh, come back to this uh, dashboard again and again and take a backup so this is the reason I use Updraft plus so you can just give, give it a try so simple process you, need, you can set the automated backup process from uh, from this area over here you can select or you can just connect the right uh, directly where you want to save your backups and yeah that's that's how you can just simply back it up that's it it will automatically start taking backup backup of your overall website that's it super simple and the other plugin that we are talking about today is uh, all in one wp migration now in this particular case uh, whenever you install all in one wp migration you get to see the plugin in your wordpress menu menu area so this is the wordpress dashboard menu area over here whenever you get into this section over here towards the bottom of the menu area you get all in one wp migration so click on all in one wp migration and in, and it will take you to this export option now this is an option to take a backup so when you click on this hamburger menu you get this option to take a backup to dropbox google drive ftp file all of these areas now i uh, the, in the free version of wp migration you just get to take a backup in the file uh, settings and in your local system you can just export it in your local system and you cannot export it in google drive or dropbox and interestingly you also have an option uh, to to kind of uh, select what exactly you want to migrate so let's say i do not want to migrate the spam comments i can simply check it and all the spam comments won't be exported along with this backup so that's a very good feature and again if i'm taking a if i'm if i'm looking to take a backup i simply have to click on this export and then file and it will start exporting uh, it will create a backup and automatically download the backup to my local system so this is the process to take an export and now if i want to migrate it to a new site what do i do i simply get into my cpanel i install wordpress and once i install wordpress i can get to my dashboard from this dashboard i install i can install the plugin all in one w migration and then over here i can get into all in one migration and click on import and right now i can simply import the file so i can just click on file and and upload the backup that i have downloaded earlier so in this way you can just migrate your backup file to a new wordpress uh, installation or you can uh, simply restore it to your existing wordpress installation so this is a process to take a backup using wp migration now let us quickly take let us quickly discuss about uh, uh, how do we take a backup from our c panel control panel so for this we have to head back to our control panel so as soon as you log into your control panel just simply search for backup and you'll get into this uh, section backup wizard over here you can simply click on backup and this overall website will start uh, the saving getting saved in your account so i'll just click on generate backup and now it says that once the full backup of your account is completed, you will receive an email at the address you specified, backup in progress, and you will be able to find all your backups in this backup section over here. So if you click on this backup section, in this backup menu, you will get to see all the file backups that was done in the past. So I want to take a partial backup and not a full backup for the databases. So I just wanted to click on this MySQL database and then I can select the database and then it will automatically start downloading. So this is how you can take a backup of your database as well. So whenever you restore it, you simply have to again get back to your control panel and then search for backup 
and then get into your let's say you can get into backup or backup wizard and then simply upload the file so here you can upload the home directory backup that you've done and here you can upload the mysql database backup that you have done simply upload upload the file over here and you are done with the restoration so there are two ways to take a backup from the cpanel again either you can take a partial backup you're taking a home directory and mysql database backup separately or you're taking a complete home directory backup and you have this option to, to back up the email accounts as well. So this is uh, the process to back it up from the host data cPanel or any other hosting accounts cPanel, control panel. Now there's a detailed video on this. This uh, process is a long technical process and there's a separate video on this which I'll link in the description below. But ideally this is the process. I'm just giving you a quick overview on this and uh, uh, to, to take a backup from your cPanel this is the this is the process and for uh, for a backup using a plugin this is the process simply click on export and then you can download the file or simply get into updraft and take a backup in your google drive that's it so this is the process to take a backup now let us get a step ahead and uh, look into an advanced process so let's say i would like to take a backup of a large website I would like to take a backup of an e-commerce website which is let's say uh, of 2 GB uh, size. In that case, I can take a backup using WP migration but I cannot upload the migration into my uh, into my new hosting account or into this existing hosting account because the maximum file upload size limit is 260 MB over here. So how do you do that? So to increase this 260 MB upload limit uh, for large sized backups you need to get into your cpanel again and look for php uh, ini editor so this is the one you need to get into and once you click on php my uh, php uh, ini editor you get you have to select the right uh, account so over here this is for the brandcap.com and the maximum file upload size limit is 260 mb uh, i'll just quickly show you again so if i click on import i get this option over here where it says that maximum file upload size limit is 260 mb i'll be increasing it to let's say 512 mb how do i do that i can get into P multi php ini editor in my cpanel i can then get into the right uh, account so this is for the brand cap where exactly is that so this is the account and then i will be having this option as soon as i've chosen the brandcap.com i have got this option over here now over here you can see that it's 260 mb i can make it 512 mb again i can make it uh, 512 mb and also i can make uh, the post size uh, uh, okay this is already 512 i can also upload this i can also increase this uh, file uh, upload max file size to 512 mb so this is how i have just up, uh, uh, increased the size of this upload size now i can apply it and then it is successfully saved if i reload it i will see that this 260 is now 512 mb so this is how you can increase the file upload size limit of your wp migration now there is again one more limitation so this is a 512 mb based on the server so based on the type of hosting account that you are using based on the limit of your hosting account you can increase it to up to a max of 1 gb size so in case your backup is more than 1 gb then what do you do so in that case you need to go for this unlimited version of the wp migration so if you click on this get unlimited you land up on this page where it says that you need to pay around 69 dollars for lifetime so you need to pay 70 dollars around 70 dollars to get this unlimited version of it now in case you're following this video uh, i have already told you in the in the initial uh, initial part of this series of videos that i'll provide you all of the tools that are required so here is the unlimited uh, unlimited uh, version uh, here is a here is a plugin for unlimited uploads so what do you do for that you have to i'll share the download link below this video you need to download that particular plugin and once you download it you need to get into your plugins area again add new so right now we are adding this premium plugin to increase it increase our file upload size limit to unlimited so upload plugin and then i will so uh, this is i'll take you to the download files so when you download uh, the the files in the description the link is there you will get something like this so this is where you get to see all the wp migration premium plugins cracked for you for free so from here you can just install the unlimited extension i'll install it now and now you can see that uh, so we will be able to see that the unlimited version is now 
working on our system. So I'll get back to WB migration again, import. And now I can see that the maximum upload file size is unlimited. And so you are now able to migrate any e-commerce website of any size in any server. So just install WordPress and import the import the large sized uh, backup. So if your backup is more than one GB, then you have to use this unlimited version. You can either buy this unlimited version from uh, from the official site over here, or you can download this free uh, free tool, the cracked version of this unlimited uh, tool from the video description. So yeah, that's all from this uh, uh, from this tutorial for today. If you have any doubts, any questions, feel free to drop it in the comment section. And yeah, thank you so much for being in the video so far. See you in the next video. Goodbye.